Alrighty, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Last time we left off, we were on our way to the Winchester Ark. We are in Winchester, but we didn't make it to the story yet. There's also a mystery down here, so why don't we just check it out? I'll wear your guts as a hat! Give me Alfred's jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid for it! You seem agitated. What gave it away? The fact that I had to debase myself pissing in this swindler's pond, or the angry shouting? This man has something of yours? And here's another godsend to shit in my stew pot. Sod off unless you are going to magic Alfred's jewel out your arse. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, it might be worth a pretty penny. Jewel, you damn scoundrel! We have already paid okay. for it! Okay. So, uh, maybe we should. Maybe we should try to get in this building. I don't, that's all I can think of. Because <laughs> this guy's trying to get in here. Obviously, there's something valuable. Oi! Get out of it, you! Eh? You! What are you doing in here? Uh. I am not your enemy <laughs> yet. But that man outside certainly wants Alfred's jewel. Oh, Jesus wept upon the Holy Cross. Fuck off the both of you. Alfred will get the jewel when I get what I'm owed. Peace, or you'll feel my blade in your guts. <laughs> Sorry, my beef is not with you. I only ask for what coin is fair. It costs me double to make over what was agreed. I have a wife to feed. Well, since we have charisma, I mean, save, we, we could save 230 silver, I mean. If the jewel belongs to Alfred, then on your life you'd be wise to deliver it for the agreed price. Marry on a donkey! You deserve the bloody thing. It's not worth my hide. Much as my wife would love to be a widow. Oh, look at that. We did it. All right. Anything else in here? I mean, look, I know I just took this jewel for you for basically nothing. But, you know, if you have any other loot, and a strong it's not. He find his peace with God. I have your jewel. Well, I didn't ask for your help, but I am glad of it. Alfred commissioned this rare thing. How rare? Filigreed gold. Centered with a rock crystal and enamel plaque, a miniature of our most beatific Lord, Jesus Christ, and... And you're going to just keep it, aren't you? Um... <laughs> I mean, I, I could keep it. Uh... Yeah. I am. And I have to tell the king. I let a Dane steal his gift to his wife. You do. And also this. Every treasure he has, I'll take. Every poet who writes him into song will sing threefold of me. Because we are Vikinger, and this green and pleasant land will be ours. Bollocks. We found the treasure, and we will forget we met! Stop following me, or the jewel will not be the only thing you lose today. Holy splinters from the cross! All right. Take it. All right. <laughs> I, I I have no idea. Whatever. Got a couple of skill points though. Oh, so not totally a waste. You know, I do have an axe that I can use. I mean, I know I just well, I've been using the hammer for quite a while actually. Was it this one? I think it was this one that... Yeah, I think it was Heminger's axe. Uh, I mean... <laughs> it's weaker. So... Eh. I don't know if I want to use it. Because I was going to upgrade this thing here, but I don't know, maybe it's not worth it. Stun? I'll take a stun. What else do we have? 
Don't really care about flails. Don't really care about abilities too much. I think that's pretty much all the way the bear stuff. Alright. Cool. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't remember what I was going to work towards. I think I might have seen like this. And we could do that. I don't know. So now we gotta go this way. Yeah, I don't know exactly what was going on with that mystery, but I mean, I imagine a Viking would just keep the treasure for themselves. Like, what's the point of giving it up? So why not? This must be the house of their timid god. They built him a rich dwelling. All right. So before we actually go in here, I want to see if I can climb this place. Because we should have a synchronization point here. And hopefully that's the last one for this area. I don't know. You just got to follow the birds. And of course it's all the way up there. Well, you can't have a synchronization point if it's not at, like, the the top of the city. Like, it just wouldn't make much sense. You gotta be able to see everything. Alright. I think we're finally here. And it would've sucked if, uh... If the point was on a different cross. I don't know. I can't remember the exact term for uh, this type of architecture. Uh, you know, this, this pointy thing. <laughs> I don't remember. I'm pretty sure it has a name. I just, I, I can't remember what it is. Oh well. I also saw something in here. Hmm. Can I... Oh, we can break this. Break it! Alright, let's break this other box. There we go. And we got a key. We are going to need that eventually to open a chest. There's a bunch of keys around here. I'm going to see if I can collect them so that I don't have to, like, mess around later. But I'm probably going <laughs> to... It's probably not going to matter that much. Alright, that door is not going to open. We got some windows. Well, that key, not really sure how to get that. I mean, we could probably go through this church here. Like, might be able to go around or something. So another key somewhere it's over here. Also, where's the thing? Actually, we do have to go over here. And I do need the food, so I will take that. Gonna be thrown into a cutscene, probably. The Lord takes the best of us to sit beside him. Before we do that, he is locked in the flaming crypt where all heretics Oh, never mind. The person is probably in the back there. But there's some keys over here. Alright, these keys aren't even related. Also, I'm seeing some framed herring, which kind of sucks. Great. I had like three updates going on as soon as I... Well, there you go. All three updates are, are done. 
had three updates just start as soon as I turn on my PS5, which is great, you know. I'm glad my games just update automatically, because I don't think it would work if, uh, if I had to do it manually. So I don't know how to get through here. A Dane treads the cobbles of God's house. In search of Christ's redemption, I hope. Your Christ can wait his turn. It's you I've come to see. Is that so? When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. You know these words, and you know why I speak them. I do. But I am not yet satisfied that you are the one for the task ahead. As Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Speak the deeds of Christ in order. Only then will you cometh unto my Lord. Oh. <laughs> um. I mean, uh, since we have the charisma, why not? Why deny the pleadings of an unwashed pagan who aches to know God? Take me as I am and I will do your Lord's bidding. How great is the burden of learning for one so unworthy. But I see that no amount of instruction in the Lord's words will save your soul. Come. Alright. Just follow the priest. Also, I'm glad that Eivor remembered the uh, the secret phrase well, or whatever it is. Priest. I cannot stand waiting in silence. Shh. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is considered wise. Yet men become wise by speaking with other men. They grow foolish when keeping to silence. Hush. Your prattling offends God's ears. We're here. All right, luckily we didn't have to walk that far. May Christ, whose terror scares away the foul throngs, make with me a strong covenant. Was God's lesson instructive? Uh, let's see. I learned that my gods and yours inspire tales of equal amusement. They make me howl with laughter. A dull answer, but a battle-blunted axe may yet be sharpened. Do all the priests in Winchester have this same skill for drama? You risk your life, Alfred King. I have invited you here to speak on equal terms. Do the Dane laws of hospitality not apply in Wessex? You gifted my Jarl to that wealth from the Order of Ancients, the warrior Fulke. Fulke was an enemy of Wessex. But it seems someone has already removed her threat from my lands. If you did not hear it was me, you have now. Impressive. The Order of Ancients has surely been crippled by her loss. How much do you know of this Order? Only this and little more. This letter, signed by one who calls himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ, warns of a plot against my life. The gallows, the quill, the Sikhs, free men eager to kill you. Two now. The Bishop Aylfirth is dead. He was the Sikhs, so far as I can tell. And a humble servant of your God. That must sting. Still, his death has strengthened Christian fellowship in Winchester. I pray the deaths of his colleagues will do the same. Okay. So, I, I, I don't really remember how Alfred fits into this story. I remember hearing the name a couple times, but... <laughs> It feels like the his reveal was supposed to be like some like epic uh I don't know like oh my gosh it's King Alfred but I don't really know <laughs> who he is and I don't really remember why he's important but I think he's like he might be one of our main enemies but I really don't know um so many lies in the name of your god 
Perhaps he is not strong enough to help you. My god is the Almighty. But my enemies are numerous and my throne is fresh. There must be no trail from these murders back to me. I should let the Order kill you. It would speed our conquest of England. You may remove the organs of state. The cancer will remain. Then promise me a reward I can sing about. A healthy king's weight in silver. <sighs> Very well. As much as you can carry. This morning, my reeve, Goodwin, was not at his post. A man you trust? Goodwin was following the clues given in this letter when he disappeared. Where was he last seen? At his house, by the West Gate. You may find something there. Eivor, compose yourself while you are my guest. My city is not a battlefield. Not yet, Great King. But the day will come. Oh. Alright. So what are we gonna do? Just hunt down these people? <laughs> is that it? And I, I feel like that should have been like more surprising or something. I don't I don't know. I'm a little bit confused. Historical musings. And so did Senwolf Penwall? I don't know. Of Wessex seek to atone for his terrible sin by building this great minster. Though his father was pious and godly, he turned his cheek from the mysteries of our lord and soon after lost his earthly kingdom. As for the lord's house, he constructed it from... Combe? A comb? Comb? I don't know. Down Oolite. Such an edifying work was it that the bishop moved his seat here better to hear the word of God. Alright. Count of Miracles. Magister Beta said that I am a very wicked boy for breaking an egg on Wigbert's head. To learn humility and piety, I must write an account of the miracles of Saint Swithun. Saint Swithun was a big man with a full red beard and arms as big as tree trunks. He could shoot fire out of his eyes. And once he made eggs come back to life because a workman bumped into an old woman on the bridge and they fell and broke. Oh, and he makes it rain, like all the time, and is... Oh, and he makes it rain, like all the time, and is still doing miracles even though he is dead. Amen. I don't know, that last sentence kind of threw me off. Didn't yes, sound right, but whatever. Alright, let me go over here first. It probably leads to the same spot, but you never know. Did I just pass something? Alright, I need a key. I need to find this Reeve Goodwin. Hang on, there's like an upstairs. I see a key over here. Look at that. Is this the key I need? Third old minster key. Or minster chest key, I should say. Well, I'm gonna say that this probably won't unlock that door. Also, there's something over here. Alright, can I just go over here? Break these. Break everything. What did I get? Five silver. I was gonna make a joke about how it was like only five silver. But I would have been right. Oh yeah, I was going to try to open that door. I don't think it's going to open. Because, yeah. It's not a real key. Or, you know, it's not a key for a door. Specifically, it said chest, so. All I wanted to do was jump over the railing. Alright, we got to go see Goodwin, apparently. And also, try to get some keys. 
but oh dear all right so that thing's locked there might be like a window I can shoot through of course this guy's gonna be all suspicious and everything of course they are that sucks <laughs> <laughs> um, I have like one idea, and that idea is not going to work, unless, unless I can get over here. Oh. Oops, not me to use my ability. Chill. All I did was shoot a freaking window thing. Where's his other weak spot? Not really sure. Oh. He's dead. Oh, my fire. Oh, come on, dude. Damn. I was trying to strafe out of the way, but it just didn't work. Okay. See, this is all I wanted to do. I wanted to go over here, shoot this thing. But nope. Also, I didn't really need to... All I really needed to do was break that thing and climb in here, but... That guy was still suspicious of me. Whatever. Game, can we stop with the frame tears? Not a big fan of frame tearing. Holy shit, what's that? Titanium? Dude, there's a bunch of freaking like coins around here. This is crazy. Do I really have to? Here, I I'm gonna try holding triangle and see if it collects all of them. And it doesn't. I got a spam triangle to pick everything up. Oh. In The Last of Us, you can just hold triangle and you pick up everything in the vicinity. But not this game. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Why is there just coins laying everywhere? Like, can't they just put it in a freaking uh, pouch or something? I guess I'd be asking too much. But, dude, I... I'm rich. <laughs> Rightful claim. I, the last of Boudicca's line and true heir to the throne of England, command you to seal the coin stamp of the false king. Soon my face will be upon every silver piece across the land, and then we will see who has the noblest nose. Ugh. <laughs> so what? This guy who had... was, like, collecting all the silver? So then he could just put his face on it? Like... Get over yourself. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I really don't pe like people like that. You know? Like, oh, uh, my face should be everywhere because that's what people want to see. No. <laughs> Hell out. <laughs> kind of people are just really annoying. And most likely, they're probably ugly as well. Mostly because of their personality, you know. If you're like, full of yourself like that... You're probably... Not that good looking because... You're just kind of a dick. I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> but it's like... If you just be a better person, it would probably... Uh, not... I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm trying to say. It just... 
it makes them look worse. You know, they're uglier people because they have ugly personalities. Basically, that's what I'm trying to say, but even that feels like it doesn't make that much sense. So I'm just going to shut up and try to find Goodwin. And I would really like it if my game just stopped with the frame tearing. I don't think it should be noticeable, but for me, it's definitely noticeable. Don't like it. I was never really like... I was in here. Alright, we can unleash some uh, chaos here. But I'm not gonna do that. I was never really one to care too much about graphics. Um, but recently, I do care about the graphics. <laughs> mostly just having things run smoothly. You know, I mostly just care about having like 60 FPS gameplay so that everything feels smooth. Um, and I also like it when my games don't have frame tearing. <laughs> Like 10 years ago, I probably never noticed frame tearing, but nowadays it's just like, I can definitely tell. And I don't like it. All right, we can do go down here possibly. Oh, is there treasure down here? Oh, there's something. Let me get some air. Alright, I saw a chest. It's over there. Alright, I gotta blow that thing up. Luckily, there's some explosives right here. Alright, that works. We'll let that fire burn out. Can I... No, I can't shoot that. Oh well. Can I open the chest? Good. Alright, trying to line up a path here. Can't really see anything, so we probably have to swim under everything. Or we go around this way. That could work as well. Does my torch act like light? Oh my god, it makes it so much better. I always forget I have a torch. <laughs> I always forget. I should be using it in these dark areas more often. I mean, it makes sense. You know, torches are generally used as light sources. You know, it's the old school flashlight. So, I should just use it in dark areas more often. I don't know why I never thought about it before. <laughs> Can't go through that. I uh, can't really swim through and I can't swim under anything, so I don't really know what to do here. So I'm gonna try swimming then. No, swim. Oh my god. Just dive. I'm holding circle. Alright, maybe over here. Alright, good. We're making some progress at least. I think I kind of forgot that there was uh, areas around here. All right, just loot this place. Get my torch back so I can see. We're gonna have to slide under that. Is there anything over here? Move this. Does this lead back to uh Yes it does. Alright. Well, that's how you open that door. And I don't think there's anything else over here. Is this thing being blocked? I think it is. Oh boy. 
Uh, oh, there's... Okay. Might have to blow that up. Means I have to grab some... It's not what I wanted to grab. Where are those pots? They're over there. God damn it. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Thank God. I'm in water. I shouldn't be on fire here. Oh boy. The Magas Codex, page six. I had to think for a second there. Mistaking my inquiring expression for censure, Magus waved his hands before him. I know, I know, he said. Glory and recognition are frowned upon. Our an an oh gosh. Our anonymity is our weapon, but allow me this one moment of glee. Or to meet one of our founders, the woman who ended the Ptolemies, no less. It is not a chance we shall have again. A founder? I repeated. Of the Hidden Ones? Her? Yes, oh yes, Maga said. Her true name is lost to the living, as are the names of all our first Hidden Ones. A testament to their devotion, I suppose. But a woman is colored and stained by history cannot live as a... In oh gosh... And stained by history cannot live invisible in her own time. She has seen the blood of Caesar, the tears of Cleopatra, and the wrath of Imperator Augustus, no less. Magus leaned in close so that only I, amid the drifting bees and butterflies, would hear. She would kill me for speaking her name, but I'll say it. I mean it, they called her a long time ago, and today for a moment she lived not in memory, but in flesh. As for the rest, they are gone, and happier for it, I think. All right, can I open this? I can. What is that? That kind of looks like a dagger. I'm not really sure. Yep. All right. Eh. A hundred stun... Well, I, I guess it's not that impressive. Whatever. Not really worth it. Evacuation order. Cavite. Caesar Magnus Maximus has ordered the full withdrawal of Imperial troops from the west of Britannia. Now the people of this region grow wary of our presence and wish us gone. Our task here has always been to strike a balance between lawful obedience and revolutionary action in pursuit of human liberty. But we have often been misunderstood. And this has led to resentment and accusations of fanaticism. Enough is enough. I have made the difficult decision to abandon our bureau at Venta Bulgarium. All hidden ones are hereby ordered to return to our bureaus in Londinium and Camulodinum for further instruction. Magister Marcel Marcellus Operer in Tenebris Tenebri Vit Nope. <laughs> Lumini Servius? Ah, Jesus. Oh my god. Hidden One's contract. So, are the V's supposed to act like U's? Because they always appear next to v consonants. Like, N, V, S shouldn't be like next to each other like that unless there's a vowel in between them somewhere. So maybe it says genus, Pacti? I don't know. Contact and deliver. Belgian Roman... Tensions run high, mutilations and murders of Christian populace at the hands of local Bel Belga warriors continue to mount. An acolyte is needed to deliver a personal message to Imperator Constantinus, pleading for the pro protection of Christian worshippers in the region. 
The Imperator's schedule and route through Brit Britannia is not yet known. Acolyte must trace and follow Imperator's entourage. Deliver a message at the most opportune moment. Contra... Contra hit? Acolyte is Betha. Status, success. Message delivered. Okay. There's something over here. 12 silver. I almost missed 12 silver. Could you imagine? Just imagine what would have happened if I missed that. I'll be... Not as rich. Am I gonna... This thing will fit through the door. Alright, Eivor, are you gonna climb out of here? Are you gonna cooperate with me this time? See, it's like I wanna grab that. I wanna go up. Oh, now you climb up. Alright. Finally. I did not expect to uh, go down there, but whatever, it worked. And I think I grabbed everything, I hope. If not, oh well. All right, let's go see Goodwin. If I can find his house, I think he's over here. <laughs> 